Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Employee Ideas app in Microsoft Teams. This app can be installed as a tab in a team channel and allows user to create and vote ideas. Manager can create idea campaigns and team members can create ideas by using notes, files, images to better communicate new ideas. Okay, let's move forward and I'll show you every step. Here we go on my PC, I have Microsoft Teams open. Let's install the employee apps. You have two approaches that you can follow. The first one is through the apps store. From here you can type employee idea and here we go, the, the app show up at the first position. If I click on this item, I'm able to open this panel and from here I can read several information about this app. Now, if you click on the button Add to a Team, this app will be installed in the general channel of the available teams that you have. This because the target of this app is a tab. So if I want to install this app in a different channel, all I need to do is go on the specific team channel where I want to add this app. And from here on the plus button, I can search for employee ideas here we go the app show up and now i can go forward by installing this app in this specific channel of my team i can decide if post this activity in the channel and i will click now on save this process will take a while once the app is installed in your channel you will get a notification in the activity feed of teams and then you have to allow some permission this one is the Office 365 users and this other one is Microsoft Teams. So in order to use this app, you have to click on the button Allow and grant these permissions. Now I installed this app also in another team channel. More specifically, I installed in the general channel this app in the team org wide of my tenant. In this way, all users of my tenant, all users of my organization are able to submit ideas. Finally, I can use now this app and here I have to target a channel where I want to post messages. So I will target the same channel where I installed this app and then I will click on the button let's go. From here you have another message that this app is built with Microsoft Power Platform with power apps more specifically. So then I will check this checkbox, don't show this again and got it. When you get access the first time to this application, you can find several information already there. I have in fact here several idea campaigns, workplace safety, cafe food, in-person meetings and return to workplace. Then on top, in this section, weekly top contributors, look at this. Woohoo! I am the first contributor with 13 ideas. Of course, I have not created uh, any ideas here, but the, the person that installed this app will be added as a top contributor with 13 ideas by default. This just to have a look about uh, how it looks like there. Then on the right in this section, weekly top ideas, we can see that we have a couple of uh, idea with the vote. So you can vote ideas. Below I have all idea campaigns created. From here I can search for a specific idea campaign and from this drop down I am able to filter idea campaigns. I can check active, expired or not started idea campaigns. Let's click on hold now. And then we have the button to add a new idea campaign. I'll show you in a bit. Last thing that I want to show you from an overview perspective of this app is the wheel icon here. This will get you access to the settings of this app and from here we are able to turn on or off this option. Should only team owners be allowed to add campaigns and access settings? Yes, so I will toggle on this option and I will save this setting. Okay, we are ready now to explore new idea campaign or existing one. For example, this one, Workplace Safety, clicking on it this is just a container of ideas. I have this idea campaign, Workplace Safety. You can set a time range where this idea campaign is valid and we have 37 days left. In this idea campaign, we have two ideas. 
This means that we can create new ideas related to this idea campaign. I am back in the home page of the Employee Ideas app. I am the owner of this org-wide team. That means that according to my settings, I am able to create a new idea campaign. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I will click on the button Add Campaign. And now I will fill out this form. I will add a campaign name, a description, and a cover image. Meeting experience, description, looking for ideas to improve our meetings experience, and finally, a cover image. There are a bunch of image that you can set up or you can upload your image. And I have one here, meetings. There we go. Okay, the cover image, it's correctly added, and now, you have to set up the time range. So this idea campaign will be valid in the next month and will expire in June 30. There we go. Now below we have a bunch of idea questions. You can add additional questions if, if you want or you can remove these two existing. Now I will leave as is, but just to show you this experience, if I click on the add question, from here I can define the question, I can define the text inside, low height, then what kind of response type I want to have, if rating or text, then I can even add and enable the, the text if I have a long text, or a short text. Okay, let's now remove this question because it's fine to have just these two questions. And now all is all good. I'm ready now to add this new idea campaign. Let's click on the button Add Campaign. And the idea campaign is created. Let me click now on the button Return to Campaign List in order to see my new campaign created. And here we go. I have created this new campaign, but the status it's not started, of course. So then people and users will be unable to add new idea. Let me adjust the time range in order to make it available before February 24. And let me save now this change. Okay, if I go back now on the manage, campaigns, we can see that now this new idea campaign just created is up and running. And now we will see how it will look like this app from another user perspective. I am now in Microsoft Teams as Ligu. In the posts tab of the general channel, I can see that Giuliano De Luca has created a new idea campaign, meeting experience. It's time to open the employee ideas because I have a great idea. Here we go, we are now in the home page of this app. As you can see, I am a normal user. I am just a member of this org-wide team. That's the reason why I don't have the ability to create a new idea campaign. Okay, I see now the new idea campaign just created meeting experience. Let's click on it. And now we are in this idea campaign. I am able to submit an idea. Let's click on the button. And now I have this form to fill out. We have a title now, Better Brainstorming with Whiteboard. And as description, remote work has become a new norm, help teams run effective meetings, visualize ideas and work creatively with notes, shapes, templates and more. Then let's define the impact of this idea. I will set for how much effort will your idea take to implement too. Finally, I will add a, a Word document which is helpful to explain better my idea. And I have here again another file on my desktop, whiteboard docx. Here we go. Finally, a cover image that I have always on my desktop. And this is my cover image. By the way, this is a video that I made. You can click on the top right corner right now if you want to watch it. Okay, it's time to submit this idea. I am again in Microsoft Teams and this time I am connected as Adele Vance. And look at this, my teammates Ligu has just submitted a new idea. Let me check it. I am in the app now and I see now that Ligu has submitted a new idea. Let me check now in this new campaign the Ligu's idea. 
and here we go better brainstorming with whiteboard if i click on it i can expand and read details about this idea looks great to me uh, let me like this idea this is a very great out of the box app that helps users in an organization to submit ideas and allows manager to select top ideas in order to implement this idea in the organization last thing that i want to call out here is that you can even customize this app if you want to add more complex business logic in this app you can click on the icon here and there is a link customize using power apps so by doing that you will be able to customize this app you can directly from here in teams in the left navigation bar if you already have power apps installed you can open it and then you will find the employee ideas app available in the org wide team in my case so clicking on it and here i am in power apps i just opened the employee ideas app i can add additional forms or extend the functionalities of this app which is very great and when i have done i can save and publish to teams Okay, that was a quick tutorial how you can use the Employee Ideas app in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!